Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Leslie Draffin. Chris Radcliffe has the night off. Well, the image and future of Waco is up for a vote right now in the city council as a $700 million plan to reshape the downtown area in partnership with Baylor University is happening. Six News reporter Matt Lively explains. Happening right now inside the Waco City Council meeting, a vote on a resolution as to whether or not Baylor in the city of Waco will move forward on a brand new pavilion in a riverfront project. The cultural and economic impact of this is incredibly significant and then there's also um, the commitment of Baylor and the county and the city working together to ensure that not only this project is successful, but that our, our community continues to thrive in the days ahead. A brand new 7500 person capacity basketball pavilion would be the largest economic development in Waco's history, according to Mayor Dylan Meek. That would go along with a Riverside project that would bring a hotel, retail shops, restaurants and condos, which would reshape downtown Waco. The basketball pavilion would also serve as an entertainment video with the city getting 90 usage dates per year that would be used for concerts, shows and more. The biggest win for the city is the fact that taxpayers will not be charged more, but instead existing funds will be redirected towards this project. In building the 245,000 square foot arena, it would bring more than 3,800 jobs to Waco. Something the city is trying to do is turn downtown Waco into an 18 hour district. That means it's not just used during the day or in the mornings, but it is truly a full stop for people in Central Texas. We'll have more updates on the vote tonight at 10 in Waco. Matt Lively, 6 News.